Sunday football kicked off with the Hawks heading south to their home away from home at Aurora Stadium in Launceston. Their opponents, Geelong, have skyrocketed to become the new glamour side of the competition after a scintillating fortnight of football saw them demolish Carlton and Melbourne in no uncertain terms. Driven by an aggressive, hard-running defence and finished off with an explosively talented forward line, the Cats have Sleepy Hollow awakening in a lather of excitement. Geelong lost big man Brad Ottens to a hip injury, while promising youngsters Joel Selwood and Travis Varco were omitted. Matthew Stokes returned after his four-game suspension, while Nathan Ablett and Stephen King were back after overcoming their respective injury problems. Hawthorne overcame a dismal opening round loss in Brisbane to string together solid victories over Melbourne and the Kangaroos. Given they finished 2006 with four straight wins, the young up-and-coming Hawks entered this match having won six of their last seven. Just the one change in the Hawthorne camp, an injured Rick Ladson making way for Chance Bateman, who returned from his two-week thigh injury. The Cats went out for their first appearance in Launceston, the Hawks with the home ground advantage, and boasting an unbeaten record there in 2006. Could they subdue the Red Hot Cats to continue that run of form in the Apple Isle? Here's Dwayne Russell. Ling collects it from 40 and drives it home. Blake knocks it down, Milburn, Enright. David Johnson, and now Wachinski. All the way to full forward, all the way to the goal square, all the way for a goal! Struggling to adapt to the blustery conditions, Hawthorne were held goalless in the opening turn. The Cats leading by 18 points at the first change. Could the Hawks find their rhythm in the second turn? Crawford, Sewell, Mitchell, Hodge, Birchall, Sewell. And he can load up from there, goes with the pass, perfect option and Boyle will run into the open goal and kick the opener for the Hawks. Chance Bateman. That's it. Hodge. Young. Not held up because that would have been 50. That's a long ball. That's 70 metres to the goal square. Dixon. Can't get the second grab. Williams in for goal number two. Birchall to the hot spot. Centering ball. Roughhead's got three to beat. Thumps it down. McLean. Guerra, left foot snap, pretty good off the boot, very good off the boot. The Hawks booted six goals to one from early in the second quarter He's to hit the front third. early in the third. The challenge the now squarely at the feet of the Cats to respond. He did brilliantly. Made the commitment. Kicks the half forward, Osborne, to his own advantage. The leads come, it's a long ball. Franklin caught behind, rises and still marks! Kicks the goal and puts the Cats in front. Cats with an opportunity now. Blake, Kelly, Prismal, Chapman. And now Mooney just misread it. Breeze just carried it further than he thought. Milburn straight through traffic. He slots it. Cats back in front. Long ball. Gary Ablett. It sits for him. He flies. Can't mark it. Crumbs it. Oh. Shoots it out to Chapman. He gets away from Hodge. Centering ball. Diving mark to Kelly. Already kicked a goal this afternoon, James Kelly. That goal to James Kelly at the eight-minute mark of the final turn gave the Cats a handy eight-point lead. With goals at a real premium in a he tight, scrappy affair. Hodge. Could the Hawks manufacture a couple Couldn't more to get themselves in. back in front? Hamble from King, terrible. Picked off by Crawford, and he nails it. Tried to bounce it to his own advantage. Dixon shrugs the tackle to Crawford, to Mitchell, around Ling. Has the shot, no, he centres it. Hoping for Hodge, he can finish it off. Put the Hawks in front, handball over the top. Ellis, they're in front. Temps in to play on, Cats need a mark. Mooney flies, can't bring it down. Up to Stokes, needs to kick this for the Cats to take the lead. It's across the face, a behind. Egan, back to Hunt, they need a mark, he spears it, Mooney! He's gonna get it moving. Too far out to score, loads up, Tom Hawkins Taylor. is there, Ablett's there, Taylor's there! That's it. And he can chew up the remaining seconds. This has been a victory with heart for the Hawks. Siren! The Hawks home in a Launceston thriller. No goals in a desperate final 15 minutes. 
as the two teams blew a series of chances to wrap up the contest. Hawthorne prevailing by four points, 10-16-76 to Geelong 9-18-72. Mark Williams booted three goals for the winners. Jimmy Bartell continuing his fantastic start to the season, racking up a game-high 31 possessions. The Hawks winning their third straight over the Cats and improving their record to 3-1 and one in 2007. And there's a credit to both sides. We're just really pleased that uh, we could, we're in the right position at the end of the game. It'd be four points up it was great. The game opened up a little bit more, didn't it, after half time, which is what it needed to do from our point of view. And I wasn't that unhappy with the third quarter, but it, we did concede some easy goals.